It's a dream come true to to be Chuck on a show called Chuck to begin with, but then to be able to relate to him in so many ways with the video games and the gadgets. Oh, that's awesome. And then also, like, all your little boyhood dreams of running around with guns and car chases and explosions. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. The makers of Chuck couldn't have found someone more appreciative for the role. Lord knows Zach Levi's put in the hard yards when it comes to the research. I want you to pretend like you're playing that game, okay? You're just in your bedroom, you're playing a game. And uh, the Nintendo Wii is more dangerous than people realize. I put my hand through a light fixture in my living room uh, playing Nintendo <laughs> Wii Tennis. Uh, I was in great form. My forehand and backhand were spot on. And then I tried to do this overhead smash, and my light fixture was just too... I'm very tall, and I have very long arms. As you can see, they're out of the frame. You don't even know. I could be grabbing onto a bird right now. You don't even know that. And in the, in this, in the armpit. Um, uh, but uh, so I, I did this, and I, my hand went through the glass, and glass was everywhere, and my hand, I looked at my hand, and blood began to drip. And But... You know, it's something that Chuck would do. It, it was almost like I was living in a twilight zone. I couldn't believe that I would do something that I would do on the television show. And they, it's too good to write. Your commitment to the role is, is impressive. Stanley. Thank you. I appreciate that you recognize that because some people don't. While Zach Levi's prepared to do himself an injury for his art, Aussie newcomer Yvonne Strahovski has done little more than land on her feet. I pretty much packed my bags for two months, bought a return ticket because I thought I was coming home. Um, I, I was, I left in February of 07, um, I left Sydney to go to LA and within probably I think two or three days I had the job. It was very fast, um, <laughs> everyone should come to Hollywood, <laughs> it'll happen like that. Cardinal One is the top Moscow spy in the White House office. And, and while Zach brings his studied gaming abilities to the role, Yvonne speaks fluent Polish. Not a bad skill to have when you're playing a CIA agent. I was born in Australia. I'm the only Australian in my family. So everyone else is Polish and my parents came out here. And yeah, it was my first language. We spoke it at home and then I went to school. We um, speak it all the time. We email in Polish and yeah. This is Yvonne's first trip home since her whirlwind introduction to LA. As for Zach, he's keen to show off his local knowledge. I was in Wellington for a week, and then I was in Auckland uh, for a few days, and uh, I really wanted to do the, the sky walk, sky jump off the, the tower there. Didn't have time to do it, but I had some great food. Uh, I went to Kingsland. We went out to, some, uh, to the Kingsland pub out there and went to uh, the Gypsy Tea Room, had some drinks there. I mean, you know, got, got, to, you got to check it out. Things. Yeah, <laughs> swinging in Auckland, baby. <laughs> it was fun, and I, I got to tell you, a great group of people. I really, really like the people in Australia and New Zealand, and they uh, are just very kind, and the food's great, and the nightlife's great, and uh, yeah. For goodness sake, I, I think we should hire you. You should. I should just run the, the tourism department. Yeah. Come to New Zealand. Not the best Kiwi accent, no, but you've got to love his enthusiasm. Oh, yes. You are wonderful. I, can't. Oh. I wanted to go to Rotorua just because, you know, you got to do it once and go check out the geysers and do the Zorb and all that jazz. Uh, but would love to do the bunch of jumping in Queenstown and go rafting. I mean, it's, it's a great country for that kind of adventure, and uh, I love that stuff.